All right, so another question that I, I get a lot is, Nautica, do you have oral sex? And what I wanna say about that is, I cannot wait to get married for that part. Don't judge me, don't judge me. But in my post, I am going to share some scriptures that implies oral sex. I'm not here to debate. I know that some people um, think that this is not biblical, but i um, not here for the debate, but I am just gonna share my feelings on it. Um, so do I have oral sex? No, I do not participate in that while I am abstinent. And one of the reasons why I do not participate is because it is so emotional. I don't want to have an emotional bond with someone that is not my husband. And right here, I'm not talking about a soul tie, but I'm talking about an emotional tie. If you want to get some more information on soul ties, please, please, please let me know. So oral sex is a form of foreplay. And we know that foreplay is something that you do before the actual penetration and um, sexual intercourse. So if you think about a ball game and there's a pre, you know, like this pre stuff where you think about the NFL, the Super Bowl, there's these pre things that's going on and everyone's so excited about it. But the, the, um, the, <laughs> The um, game is the real event. And so beforehand, there's like the little stuff that's going on. Uh, it's getting you prepared for the main event. I don't want to participate in that because it's leading me to want to, you know, carry on what's next. And so I just, I don't want to go there because it's a slippery slope. Once you get into that area of foreplay and oral sex, you want to get to that orgasm. Y'all, I'm going to be real. You want to get there. So I just don't want to do that with somebody that is not my husband. It puts me in a place where I am going to want to have sex. So the Bible says to flee all sexual immorality. It didn't say just flee penetration. It says flee everything. So that means oral sex, anal sex, all the kind of sex it says to flee from it. So some tips that I want to give to you today is while you are in relationships, you can have all the conversations that you want. I remember Pastor Rayleigh, he said to us um, some years ago, he said, if a man wants legs, breasts, and thighs, send him the KFC. So send him the KFC. I want to tell you, if your clothes covers it, then it's probably an area that you shouldn't get into while you are in a relationship. And I know sometimes, let me talk about modesty. Sometimes we see people that are not modest and there's areas that should be covered and it's not covered. Um, so we have to be mindful of that in the today's day and age. If it's an area like, we know breasts are very sensitive. It's an area that can um, be very stimulating. So that's an area you probably should stay far away from. Another tip is um, the Bible says, those that wait upon the Lord, he would renew their strength. So I want to encourage you today to wait on God and he will renew you in all your relationships. And I also want to encourage you to explore the world, explore the world that's around you, you know, talk, ask questions, just so many other things to do, but leave the exploration of the body until marriage. Y'all have a good day and I'll be back tomorrow with another little video. And then on Sunday, I'm coming to you live with some special guests and some more tips on how to live in abstinence. Have a blessed day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.